Kirsten Beauty. Today we're going to be doing a Lush haul. Hey ho, hey ho, oh, Lush haul. Do you want to be in the video, Coops? Do you? You're so hairy, you need a haircut. <laughs> okay, say bye bye. Bye bye, guys. <laughs> Go then. Go lie down. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me in another video and welcome back to 12 Days of Christmas. I can't believe how fast this is going. I think we're on, what are we on? Day six? Day seven? Day six, day six or seven? One, of, one or the other. This is just absolutely crazy how fast the time is going. It's almost Christmas. Oh, I'm so excited. So today I'm going to be showing you my Christmas Lush haul. It all came in this bag, which I'm actually disappointed about because this is a summer bag. I thought, you know, there would be Santa on there, snowman, like my jumper, which I should show you. This is my jumper. It says ho 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 and this is a snowman and if you push this... Yep, Santa says ho 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 and wishes you Merry Christmas. It's an awesome jumper. Anyway, we've got this big bag of Lush goodies to go through and yes, I'm very excited. So let's just jump right in. The bags are cute. They're orange with little penguins and that actually reminds me of a bottle of Iron Brew. I've got stickers on every one so that I'll be able to tell you exactly what they are and how they're meant to smell because I'm not that great at explaining scents. So, first one is the Keeping Santa Bubble Bar. So a bubble bar is one that you run under the tap to create bubbles, it's not a bath bomb. This is what it looks like. Oh, it's so cute! It's like a little macaroon, macaroon, macaron, what, how do you say that? Macaroon, I think, with like the cream in the middle. Mmm, this one smells so nice. So, let's read what this one's got to say. The bag doesn't actually say what the scent is, it just says how to use it, which is just like crumbling it under the running tap. But this one though has in it shea butter, cocoa butter, geranium and orange, so you can really smell like a fruity, flowery scent on it, it smells so nice. The next one is Santasaurus and it's a reusable bubble bar, so again you have to run it under the water and it will produce bubbles. This one is the one on the stick though, which means I think I read in the shop said that you can use it up to five times. This is what it looks like. So it's a little dinosaur with a Santa hat on and it's just it's so cute. This would be a good little gift to give to your kids as well. You know like younger people who love to have baths too. Because my nephew loves baths and I'm pretty sure my sister buys him like little bath bombs and things and he loves it so it would be really good for a kid. This one has orange, bergamot and lemon so it is a really really nice fruity scent and I think it's meant to smell like a certain bath bomb but I can't remember what one she said but yeah I'm so excited to run this under the water and have a bubble bath with it um, it looks awesome. Next up I have the magic wand bubble bar and I am pretty sure that this is for Christmas. To be honest, I just went in and bought a bunch of stuff, so some of them are Christmassy, lush things and some of them are just normal, but I thought I would just include it all in this video anyway, um, in hopes that you guys would enjoy it. So, this one is pink. Oh, it's a pink star. It has silver glitter on it and this gorgeous little bow and a bell. So when you run yourself a bath, you can jingle and you can sound like Santa Claus, so that's how I thought it was Christmassy. But anywho, this is the Magic Wand Bubble Bar. Uh, again, run it under the water to make bubbles. I swear I do have some bath bombs, they're coming. <laughs> and this scent, oh, it just smells like bubble gum. That's the only way I can describe this one. Oh, that is like bubble gum. It's just, do you know the little um, pink, um, kind of like oblong, chubby one? <laughs> That's an awful way of describing it. Um, it's like a cylinder. Like it's like small like that and it's kind of cylindrical and it's um, pink and it's got like a little flower on the top and that's a bubble bar. You run it under the water too. This is what this smells like. It's just like a really nice sweet bubble gum scent. Next up I got the Golden Wonder Bath Bomb. This is definitely Christmas scent. Oh, I just smelt lemon and orange off it the minute that I opened the bag. Um, oh, it's got cognac in it. That's alcohol. Yeah, it's got orange oil, cognac oil, lime oil. So this is really citrusy. If 
you like like a really nice lemony orange smell, you'll love this one. Look at how pretty this is. It's huge, big and square and it's like a present. It's actually massive. I don't think I'll be able to put all of this in at once. This one smells so nice. It's definitely one of those ones that will really like freshen you up. So say if you're maybe having a bath in the morning, you had some time to get ready, um, it'll definitely waken you up. I don't think this would relax you because it's a really, really citrusy strong smell. Mm. Next up, I've got Father Christmas bath bomb. It doesn't say what kind of scents are in him, so we're going to have to just guess. Mm. Oh, that's a hard one. It's really sweet again. It's not as bubblegummy as the little star, but it's got like that nice sweet bubblegum scent. He's got his beard and a little hat, and it's just like a really nice big pink bomb. Bath bomb, obviously. So yeah, he is so cute as well. Next up, my favourite, favourite bath bomb from the whole of Lush, the whole of all time in the whole world, is Butterbear. So I know this is definitely the Christmas one because usually it's just Butterball, but at Christmas we do it as Butterbear. This is the little guy here, it is just a bear. It's nothing pretty to look at. Well, it's prettier than Butterball, but it's just white with chunks of coconut oil in it. But that is honestly why I love it, because it's got the coconut oil, like the cocoa butter in it, and those big huge lumps, they melt in your bath, and oh my god, they give you such soft skin. And this one just smells so fresh. If you don't like a really sweet scent or a really fruity scent, and you just want something nice and fresh and simple, I would honestly recommend this one. And I think it's only like £1.95 or £2 as well, so it's such a cheap bath bomb. And yeah, this is by far my favourite one out of the whole of Lush. I'm not sure if this one is a Christmassy. It's Candy Mountain. I don't know if they have this all year round. This one is a bubble bar as well, so yeah, you just run it under the cold water. Oh, hot water, I mean. Don't run it under cold. Um, and it gives you the really nice bubbles. This says that it's got snowflake, snowflake luster and vanilla absolute. Surely not absolute, like as in vodka. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it says it's got snowflake luster and vanilla in it. And yeah, this one again smells like bubble gum. Uh, yeah, I don't know, so like I don't know if this is Christmassy, but I love it nonetheless, and it was only 2 95 as well, which is a bargain. So this one, um, I definitely don't think that this is Christmassy, it's never mind the ballistics, but I've not seen this one before, so it must be a new one. So it's interesting this one. It's a bath bomb on the bottom, on this yellow bit here, but on the top it's like, um, uh, like a bath melt. It's like feels really oily on the pink part. Now let me see if I can read what it says. It says when dropped into a warm bath your bomb will fizz away releasing its colour and beneficial essential oils. Lie back, relax and enjoy. So I think this pink part is all essential oils and the bottom part is the bath bomb. It says it's got cocoa butter, lime oil, orange oil, um, almond essence. Oh it's got so much in it. It just smells like really fresh. Oh, yeah, it just smells like quite a fresh scent. You can't really smell too fruity at all. It just kind of smells like, do you know sometimes when you just come out of the shower or the bath and you just feel, smell fresh and clean? That's kind of the scent that's given me. So yeah, I'm really excited to use this one and see how oily it is. Because for all I love a bath bomb, I hate the fact that sometimes your skin doesn't feel any more moisturised than it did before and it doesn't really cling on to you the scent that's why I love like the bath oil so much so yeah I'm excited to try this one I also got the shoot for the stars bath bomb this has got um, again like the almond oil in it orange and Brazilian oil oh so I can't even remember what this one smells like well actually I think this is actually one of the Christmassy ones because it was beside the Christmas stand with all like the Santa and everything there. So this is what it looks like, it's blue with big gold glitter stars on it. The stars kind of feel oily as well so I'm hoping that that is going to kind of like moisturise the skin. This one kind of smells like, if you've ever had the seaweed bomb, yeah it's a seaweed one, it smells like that but a little bit more fruity so yeah I'm very excited to see what kind of colour this goes in the water, if it will maybe go like just blue or if it will have like purpley with the glitter from the stars, oh I'm so excited. 
I kind of wish I could go in the bath right now but it is like one in the afternoon so I shouldn't. And last of all I have got the Floating Island Bath Melt. Now I the, my favourite bath melt used to be the You've Been Mangoed and it was just like the rectangle one that said mango on the top. But they recently changed that, well not recently, probably like six months ago, they changed it to an avocado oil one. So now it's like um, a semi-circle like that, it's still mango oil and things inside but it's got like a layer of avocado. To be honest, I don't like it that much, I don't like it as much as I used to. The scent is still my favourite but it doesn't moisturise me like the mango one did. So. My mum actually bought me um, uh, one of these ones, the Floating Island Bath Melt for my birthday and this is my new favourite. I think I've got two of them and although the scent is not as nice as the mango one, this one is way more moisturising which is the reason I put a bath melt in my bath anyway. So this one kind of smells like white chocolate. Mm, that may sound really silly to some people who've used this before. Kind of, it's just like... Um, it kind of looks like a pear from here. <laughs> it's just a little, little tiny bath melt. And yeah, to me, it just smells like white chocolate and it's just so, so moisturising. It's actually like melting in my hands as I hold it. It's so good. You need to try this out if you're looking for really soft skin. That is everything that I got. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Just a little chilled video before Christmas. So yeah, if you've got a Lush near you, go grab some bits, have a nice relaxing bath because I know how stressful it can be on the run up to Christmas. I am definitely getting a little bit stressed. I've got like so many presents to wrap, so much to do, but I am so excited for Christmas as well. Let me know down below if you liked the video and what you're really excited for this Christmas. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Come follow me on all my social media. They're all going to be linked down below. And make sure to subscribe as well. I'm going to be posting videos all the way up until Christmas Eve for you. So yeah, please, please subscribe. And if you do, I'll see you tomorrow with another 12 Days of Christmas video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!